Cho'Gal isn't really that effective. The spread damage from Lonara um, and Kel'Thas is going to be really hard for Morales to deal with. She's only good at healing that single target. It's 24 to 20, and this just shows you the constant siege of Claw Mist here as they're trying to get this down. Hexel with a little bit more poke. Daiho getting low above. Hexel has to be careful not to overextend. Those hooks could be devastating. The Warriors are starting to move up to that front line, doing a lot of damage to Mysticles, but they're trying to turn us around. Great healing from you so far, keeping up this front line. The double warrior been taking so much damage, but he's doing a good job of spreading his healing between the two of them and keeping them both top out. Hoof comes out from Sitch. He's not going to secure any kills, but the, uh, the Shrine is going to go over to Gale Force Esports. Really good patience on their end, not trying to force a fight and just slowly poke down the mid. For the increased movement speed and vision radius. And then at level seven, we see the Nature's Calling, which is the most important talent for this map. Still very healthy. Yuge is getting a little bit low on mana, but for the most part, everyone's still topped off. They're trying to reinforce this fight. A good Blizzard comes out hitting Hexo. Clomus going for the body block, and they pin Ball and Beast up there. He's taking a lot of damage. Yuge trying to get in range. That's going to be a very dead Lunara. Hexo trying to kite back. Good body blocks from Yuge, pinning him in there. Hexo's going to fall. Die who's trying to get out of here. Clomus getting so very low. Mysticles trying to secure that hill, but Yuge the god keeping him alive the entire time. That's going to be the death of Falstad. Die who's not going to get away either. A four for nothing exchange, securing them those heroics. And the rest of this shrine. You know, I've been talking about the range level 13, but I love this pickup from Lunara going giant killer instead. That's going to help so much versus this tanky choke off. And look how hard he's getting chalky. He has to pop the molten block very early here. Huge getting flanked by Mysticles. A great collapse coming down. And I think Gale Force has his fight. Shadow Bolt Volley goes down. It's going to be a death of Rhaegar, but Chogall's going to fall. That's two heroes down. And suddenly it's a three versus four with just one hero down. That's one of the downfalls of Chogall with just a Punisher. You need to have like a white behind it. Like what potentially could be happening right here. They're going straight for Jaina and uh, the Stitches. Peter Bob popped early. Cure is in a terrible spot and he's going to fall. Hits a three man Ring of Frost, but with no follow up there. That is a, a very dead Jaina. Allows him that extra safety here. I'm trying to push in this middle fort here trying to secure himself that fort. Clomus actually getting very very low but false that's not in this fight. Perfect time to force Shadow Bolt Volley goes out. Daihu hit with a big ancestral healing though and I don't think that UTA Haunted can finish this fight. Yeah and that's that was a four versus five and they're losing this fight. Uh, Hexo is going to end up going down here. Chogal is going to ice block barely able to survive but I don't think he's going to actually oh the movement speed mixed with Yuji will keep him alive. That was a two for one trade there. That was honestly a four versus five fight without aggressive positioning. Nobody was able to heal that Jane up even with the ice block and hey Lamau actually going to be under heavy siege here. I'd really like to see them hard engage on Yuji. They're not gonna, and he's gonna end up walking with the heal up here, so. Uh, in the front line here with uh, DNXN trying to lead this charge. They're on even footing, so they can uh, try and edge on a fight here. And Daihu taking so much damage already. Still no ancestral healing has been used just yet. Daihu going real deep with that power slide. Gets out immediately. Clomus taking a lot of damage. So much Birch coming out from Lunar on Falset. And the Molten Block has to be used. Can you just keep him alive? That's a big mosh pit catching three members. But still, Chogal stands. Cure getting very low in the back line. But they get the kill on the ETC. They're trying to get out of there. But, oh, there's just too much damage for Yuge to deal with, and that's going to be a one fight for Gale Force. But automatically, the force coming out from Cloud Mist, keep in mind, if Yuge, oh, there it goes, they do end up getting, but Ayla Mal, way out of position. Yeah, you got to respect the Shadow Bolt Volley at level 20. The pierce it does is insane. Oh. Damage, but a big three-man mosh pit and no way to interrupt it. Mysticles does a lot of damage. Stitch is going to fall. Ring of Frost used, but doesn't hit anyone. Stitch is still alive somehow. Yuge keeping him alive. He does end up going down to the Punisher's beams, though. At the same time, Clawmas diving deep on the Hexo. He's trying to kite back up Mysticles and Ball and Beast with that giant killer are chucking him so hard. They do not end up getting Hexo, and Clawmas is going to go down for us. Can he get Ball and Beast? And no. Oh, the Molten Armor is used. The shield helping out for a bit here but that is three members down for one on the end of UTA Austin. Really well done there uh, from Gale Force Esports. A little bit of a misplay at certain times on positioning out of Yuja and then just really great gusts really separated them from their opponents. Again, showing uh, that they can deal with the Cho'Gall even if it is from some of the um, well-known players that do come from Blaze on that roster. So GG's to Gale Force Esports. Stitches zero till together. That's what it used to be back in the day, right? You could lose the entire game, get one god tier um, uh, hook, and then void prison, and that's all it took, so. And this is like the best here to do it with. I mean, we saw the change to towers in the last patch where they do 50% more damage, and we saw a stop to the meta that was just, we're going to trade you for a fort. And, you know, that's just it. But, uh, 
It's Sylvanas, guys. Sylvanas still has that ability. Her trait will always keep this potential of a strategy possible. They get the front wall down, and then they're going to start rotating up. I don't know if Stitches and uh, Zeratul can beat Illidan or Rhaegar here. They're trying. New Feral Lunge allows them to be so much more aggressive here. And here comes Jaina coming in. The slows are going to help out a lot here. The body block from Mysticles. That's going to be uh, another kill going on over to Gale Force. I'm obviously in favor of Gale Force by roughly a whole level here, but the shots are really what's going to matter here. And keep in mind, they're over committing to this. Three people on yeah. top. Hexo going to go down and die. Who might not be able to get out of here if the hook is there. He tries to die to blitz, uh, the combo, but uh, they do end up getting that kill. Two for nothing exchange. I don't know if we actually needed that as the only thing to cleanse is Stitch's hook. Um, and, you know, you can pre-cleanse that as Yuja is going to go down. Cure going to fall as well. Great invade from Gale Force Esports. Is this Bob Ross fan club? Because they came out of nowhere. Hello? Uh, but they are going to get delayed. Claudius making a really bold move here to try and stay on this. Yeah, it might have cost him his life. Miss overextending a little bit. Blizzard coming out that. Oh my gosh, so close to be his life. The Rhaegar coming in. Mysticles as well. This is a double night camp. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't even rotate bottom. They just took out a keep front wall here. This is such big value for them. Uh, but all it takes is just one person. I mean, ETC could own essentially... Oh, wow. Actually, a big VP catching three members. Ball and Beast is going to die because of this Ring of Frost goes out. It actually hits four people. Oh, what a maw coming out from Mist. The Wailing Arrow completely whiffs, though. They're trying to secure this kill. Nice knockback from Daihu. He gets the power slide on the use. Hexo does not end up connecting the Ancestral. Mr. Klee's in deep. He's going to fall. The hook does not connect with Daihu, but Claudius blinks forward. Nice haunting way from Cure to get on top of him. He does end up stage diving out of there. Can Isla Mao end up surviving this? He's low on mana. He's low on health. He's looking for the hook. They're trying to get on top of him, and they do secure the kill. A four for nothing exchange. Talk about being punished for overextending. Yeah, they're trying to uh, kite back here. Chase down the Zeratul. The great uh, escape. Yeah, he's. I mean, well, nope. You're not getting out of your class. He gets the blink away. He's the gonna. He's gonna make the same mistake. He's looking for it, and he's gonna go down. Void prison gonna be dead here. Claudius. I don't know if he's gonna be able to get out here. Yu's trying to get some power slide goes down, but that's a dead Zeratul. Nice plays coming out from Gale. We could see an sta aggressive stage dive on top of Yu's and Kerr in that front line. They're still going in the for this wall. though. Mist is getting completely caught here. Nice knockback, and there's the force wall. Mist gonna go down despite the two man maw. Daihu deep in the back line. Mysticles going for DXN. They're trying to get the chase here. Zeratul completely noping out. Riga Frost goes down. And they secure themselves another kill. Daihu, they have a really big team comp to be able to do that, right? Um, a. Lamau is going to try and get out. Huge silencing Ooh. arrow. This might be... Oh, Mystically's barely going to be able to survive this situation. This is really risky. They're still dancing with death here a little bit. Yeah, they're trying this. It's 3v3. A lot of damage going on to Claudius, though. He does make out there. Yuge with a big kill. Metamorphosis goes down. And there's the stage dive. You talked about the repositioning from that. Yuge completely isolated. Mysticles going for the kill. He has to be careful, though. His Hexo's not here. And the Ancestral does connect, and this could be devastating for UTA. They're retreating as well as they can. Mysticles going very deep into this backline. Hook comes out, but it does miss. Yuge just about to fall, and this could snowball into even more deaths. They're going for miss. Picture Battle Yuge. That's a very dead stitches. It's a five versus three. Can they get one? One more kill if they get another kill that could be game but mysticles does end up falling diving too deep into the core and a good invade coming out here from um, uh ut as they're trying to force them off this point. Ilama being very low. Mysticles going deep, though. Nice haunting way from Cure. And uh, I don't know if they can get this point. They're trying for it, though. Stitches I... coming in. Cure getting on the point. No, they're not going to go for it, actually. Really interesting decision making coming out from UTA. I'm just. Wow, Metamorphosis is doing uh, work there, doing a lot of damage. Just huge uh, going down very quickly. But at the same time, Rhaegar and Tassadar fall as well. Mist is going to go down. Ball and Beast trying to stay alive. Good hook from DXN. And they're going to end up going for that trade there, but it looks like the lone survivor of this fight should be Mysticles, but Zeratul is up. He's headed over to the fight. Mysticles wants this kill bad, and they get it, but he is so low on HP. And so Mysticles getting in the skirmish here. This top shrine is going to be absolutely crucial to be who wins this game, uh, but there's wow. going to be Claudius, and this is most likely going to be the shrine end game. That just shows you the power of Rhaegar and Illidan as a duo this late in the game. He does so much damage. ETC uses stage dive just to prevent his death. Rhaegar does get the Ancestral with him, and with two members down, Yuge going to fall to Mysticles. I think we've got it. The chase is happening. Future Battle is used. Nice root coming out from Jaina. Wailing Arrow used, and they might be able to get Ball and Beast, but nice ice block there. Rhaegar keeping him alive as well, and D DXN is going to go down. It's a five versus four. As actually, Yuge, oh, um, they're uh, they're having a little back off the dance off over here on the top right. That's going to be it, guys. GFE, Gale Force. Esports with another win here in the Divergent Gaming Open. They're going to take the series 2-0. Yep, that was really, it was really well done, really convincing. KO taking a ton of damage, and Zix does not have a heal anywhere in sight. The poison might finish him off, and yes, it does. But in the back, Raffle also falling.